Welcome everyone to practical number 13, LaTeX for creation of project certificate. In this chapter, we will try to explore how LaTeX works. The prerequisite are that students should have basic understanding of Microsoft Word and they should have basic knowledge of document formatting options. The main objective is to explain and use text, introduction to technical writing, complex graphics, and computer presentations with LaTeX, which is also a standard in computer science, mathematics, and many of these sciences, and introduction to writing documents, right from a single page letter to large complex book like documents. Basics of LaTeX. The structure of a LaTeX document is divided into two types, preamble and main document. The main function of the preamble is to tell LaTeX what kind of a document you will set up and what packages you are going to require to make a document. A package is a set of additional functions such as AMS math for additional math formatting. For this document, the preamble will look like this. First, you can set the class of the document class with the document class command and add packages with the use package command. Only the document class command is mandatory wherein we can compile a document all without packages. Yet some functions may be missing in this case. The use package command must not be used in the main document. You can set the class of the document class with the document class command and add packages with the use package command. Only the document class command is mandatory. You can compile a document also without packages. Yet, some functions may be missing in this case. The use package command must not be used in the main document. The main document is contained within the document environment. Within those two statements, we can add the content of our document by just adding the text is probably not enough since we also have to apply formatting to it. Formatting in LaTeX can be applied by the use of commands and environment. The topmost environment is the document environment as described above. So there are obviously more environments, but how to find them? Well, the easiest way is to download a LaTeX cheat sheet which provides a list of most useful commands and environments. For most package, there's a manual available which we, we can find it easily on Google. Math Typesetting to introduce you to the math type setting and environment, first of all, let's demonstrate how to format some simple equations. Basics of LaTeX, document layout. Usually a document does not only consist of bunch of equations, but also needs some kind of structure. We are usually going to need at least title page, table of content, headlines, bibliography. So LaTeX provide all the commands we need. The following commands can help us. There are commands to create sections. The sections are numbered automatically and table of content commands will use them to generate the table of contents. You don't have to do it for yourself ever. LaTeX also provides command to generate the title using make title command. This needs the author, title and date command to be set. If you place the make title or table of contents command in your document, the commands will be added at that exact place. So you probably want them in very beginning of your document. If you want the title to appear on a single page, simply use new line command. Let's explore more about the basic layout and title pages. The basic layout of a LaTeX file Creating documents with LaTeX is simple and fun. In contrast to Word, you start off with a plain text file by giving extension .txt file, which contains the LaTeX code and the actual content. The control statements tell LaTeX how your content should be formatted. Before the setting become apparent, the .txt file has to be compiled into a .pdf file. A basic example document can be created by using the following code. A basic LaTeX code starts with document class, wherein we need to define the type of the document class. Here we are using document class article. The next would be a begin document, 
with the content to be displayed on the file with the tagging of end document. Once we translate this code into a PDF document, we can find the text which is written between the begin and end document, which is hello world. Along with page number at the bottom, which is added automatically in the article class. Now let us take a closer look on how this happens. As you can see, you will find a few statements beginning with backslash in the code box above. This tells LaTeX that this is not actual text but an instruction or command. All the commands share the following structure slash command option. The first part indicates the name of the command and second part in braces sets an option for this command. The options may vary from command to command as you will learn some of them later in this tutorial. This example command shows that LaTeX command are most of the time self-explanatory like document class article this means that the document class article is set which influences the basic formatting of our document like if you are writing a book the layout has to be different from an article so if we are writing a book it will be document class book the second line differs slightly from the first line as this command involves a begin and end statement in fact this is not a command but defines an environment. An environment is simply an area in which the certain typesetting rules apply. Let's have a look to a version of the LaTeX code. Adding a title page. There are numerous choices for environments and you will most likely need them as soon as you introduce a large part of mathematics or figures to your document. While it is possible to define your own environment, it is very likely that your desired environment already exists. LaTeX already comes with a few predefined environments and even more come in so-called packages which are subject to another tutorial. To summarize what we have learned till now, a document has a preamble and a document part. The document environment must be defined. Commands beginning with a backslash environments have a begin and end tag. And useful settings for page numbering is gobble if you want no numbers to be printed on the pages, Arabic if the format of the number printed is to be Arabic number and Roman for Roman numbers. Structuring your documents by adding paragraphs and sections. We have created a very basic document in the previous lesson, but when writing a paper, it's necessary to structure the content into logic units. To achieve this, LaTeX offers us commands to generate section headings and number them automatically. The commands to create section headings are very straightforward. It's very easy to structure documents into section using LaTeX. This feature also exists in Word, but most people don't use it properly. In LaTeX, it is very effortless to have consistent formatting throughout your paper. So, to summarize, LaTeX uses command, section, subsection, and sub-subsection to define the sections in your document. The sections can have successive numbers and appear in the table of contents. Paragraphs are not numbered, and thus don't appear in the table of content. These are the references. Thank you.